Cement is one of the world's most important construction materials and is used for building everything from cities and skyscrapers to bridges, dams, roads and much more. But cement is made from limestone and when it gets broken down, it results in high levels of CO2 emissions. Unfortunately, there's no green substitute for limestone, which leads to the question, what can we as a company do to reduce emissions from our processes so that we can work towards being carbon neutral and achieve national climate targets? We've been working hard to develop a possible solution to this challenge and are proud to present the result. Carbon capture at Norsem Brevik. Here's an overview of our plant in Brevik. The carbon capture facility is shown in color and is integrated in the cement factory. Let's take a look at how the carbon capture process works. Flue gas is harnessed from the Brevik factory chimney. It's between 100 to 165 degrees, so we have to cool it down to about 30 degrees. This happens in a direct contact cooler. The temperature is reduced and caustic soda is added to remove sulfur dioxide and hydrochloric acid from the flue gas. The cooled flue gas then goes to the bottom of an absorber. Here, CO2 molecules in the flue gas react and bind with the amine liquid inside the absorber to become a rich amine solution. The rich amine solution is then pumped into a desorber, where the mixture is heated to about 120 degrees. This breaks the bond between the amine molecule and the CO2. This is a very energy-intensive process and so we use the residual heat from the factory to produce low-pressure steam to heat the rich amine mixture. This is truly unique and has never been tried before. After processing in the desorber, we're left with pure CO2 gas, which goes on to be compressed and dried. In the compression facility, the pressure is increased over several stages, from 1.7 bar to 70 bar. The CO2 gas is then cooled again and returns to its liquid state before the pressure is reduced to 16 bar. Step 4. CO2 transit storage in Brevik and CO2 transport. Liquid CO2 is transported to a transit storage facility and is now ready to be picked up and transported by ship. CO2 from Brevik is transported to a new transit storage facility in Kolsnes. The result is that we avoid emitting 55 tons of CO2 into the atmosphere per hour. This equates to an incredible 400,000 tons per year, which is the equivalent of the emissions produced by 180,000 cars in a year. The carbon capture project will contribute to a cleaner local environment and will benefit all our neighbors, humans and animals alike. It will help us to reach the climate objectives set through the Paris Agreement, both here in Norway and worldwide. Good for the planet and good for us.